Welcome to the Gibbs Cam 5 Minute Demo. Today we're going to learn two new operations, new enhancements in Gibbs. They were in other places before, but now they've changed them so uh, they're a lot easier to use and faster to use. First thing we're going to do is open up our SOLIDWORKS part, put in a 3-axis vertical mill, check these three boxes. There's our part there. Of course, when you bring a saw model into Gibbs, it automatically shrinks material around there. So the first thing I'm going to do is add some stock to the material. So now we have stock on the material there. Okay, next I'm going to move my part origin over to the top left corner where I'd like it to be when I machine it for my edge finder. And here you can just copy and paste if you'd like over here. Just copy this, paste it into here, copy the Y, paste, paste it into the Y. Okay. Click on do it, continue. Now we have our origin where we would like it. You can see at the top left corner there, right where we want it. So next we want to pull the geometry off this so we can machine it. Pretty easy. Click on face selection, click the face, right click, extract the edges. And there we have the geometry, all the geometry we need to cut this part. Next, I'm going to open up my tool palette and cam palette. And I'm going to load the tools for one of my specific machines in the shop by going to Processes, Load. You can see the processes there. Another way you can see processes, machine tool magazines here. You can make these on the fly. Uh, here I have aluminum processes. I'm going to run this on my Dura Vertical 5100. You can see it loads up my tool list as well there. So the first thing I want to do here to show you the new um, operations, the new enhancements called outermost shape as boss. I'm going to start out with a three quarter inch rough end mill along with a roughing process here. On here, I'm just going to put zero in there because we can interrogate the solid. I'm going to flip this part upside down click on the bottom there you can see our parts an inch thick so we can interrogate the solid pretty easily I'm going to go a little bit below the surface and I'm going to just type in three quarter there so it will do it in two steps here this will be an island and the new enhancement here is we're going to use stock and it's called outermost shape as boss in previous versions we had to draw an air wall or you could find this in the plugin but now since this is integrated into this main process screen, we can redo the operations and they'll have associativity. So we're going to click on outermost shape as boss there. I'm going to go to open sides and say the tool can go outside the, the uh, wall by 800 thousandths because we're using a three quarter inch end mill. Click on our shape, click on do it, and you can see our tool path around the outside there. Let's just do a quick cut part rendering. And you can see we have now roughed out this part. The next item we want to do is uh, show you the ramp down. It used to be in the plugins, now it's on the process tile. Makes it much faster and easier to use. Also, you can do it with the redo operation with associativity. So we're going to drag a contour tile down to here, along with a 3 8 uh, finish end mill. Again, again, we're going to go down to minus 1.01. .01. We're going to do a little bit of a angle line and ramp in there with a 90 degree radius. But the new enhancement here on this process tile, instead of in the plugins, is on is called ramp down. When you click on this, it's going to make a helical move around the part there. We're going to just give it an eighth of an inch helix move. So in one helix revolution around the whole part, it'll drop down by eighth of an inch or whatever you'd like to put in there. So by clicking again on the same edge there, we can start here, we can start anywhere we'd like. We want to climb cut, click on do it. And you can see if we go to a side view there, you can see these are spiral cuts down there. Now the very last cut at the bottom, it'll stay at the Z depth and go one more pass around the outside there. So you don't have a ramp at the bottom, especially if this is not a, uh, uh, if you have stock underneath there. 
So again, if we do a cut part render here, slow it down just a little bit, you can see we're ramping down as that's going around the part there. Two new enhancements on Gibbs Cam 2014. Thanks for watching.